Preparation is key. If you don't prepare, you'll spend the rest of your life repairing. Success favors the prepared. God will not bless you with something that you are not prepared for. Waiting for something to come on your life that you are not ready for. I call it hypocrisy. Waiting for something to happen to your life on its own is like waiting for something that will never happen. Brian Tracy puts it this way. He says, success is predictable. Your level of preparation today will determine your height of glory tomorrow. Today is the womb where tomorrow is incubated. Nothing happens by chance. Prayer secures the miracle, but it's preparation that keeps it. The wise say a stitch in time saves nine. It's tragic to be ill-prepared. I always say to fail to prepare is to prepare to fail. The Bible talks about a man called Moses. And Moses is a key character in the vision that God had prepared for the children of Israel. In his life was the deliverance of the children of Israel. He carried the anointing. He had the grace. He, had, he was born for this. The vision was in his life. The power, the capacity, God had put it in the inside of him. And at the age of 40, Moses goes straight for his calling. He begins to fight for the children of Israel to deliver them from the hands of the Egyptians. But I want you to understand that God stops him immediately and takes him out of Egypt into the desert. And he stays in the wilderness for many years. And the many years that he spent in the wilderness were just years of preparation. You can never forego preparation. Preparation is key. And the Bible is clear that uh, when the time was ripe, when he was ready, God brings him back to Egypt in a very bizarre way, tricky situation. He was not even, he didn't even think that he could do it. He was not even feeling it. But because he was prepared, God had prepared him for what was going to happen in his life. God sends him back to Egypt and Moses finds himself back in Egypt. And for the next 40 years, he takes the children of Israel out of Egypt, out of the hands of Pharaoh, out of challenges and problems. And he carries the whole nation on his shoulders and on his vision to the promised land. If you read your Bible, you also discover that Jesus prepares for 30 years just to work for a three-year mission. He knew his assignment. He was born for it. He was born to die. He was born to set us free. But he doesn't go straight into mission. Preparation is key. How prepared are you for your next level? If there's anything that's going to come out of your life, are you ready for it? Are you prepared for it?